Good morning. This is Lawrence D. Adams. Let me let me share something today. I heard an interesting commentary yesterday to made, that made me really think. Shout out to all the men and the women of the thinking class, but I want you to really think about what I'm about to share with you. We, we always talk about vetting the woman, vetting the woman that we need to be with and vetting the people that we need to be with. But let me drop some a gem right quick on top of your head while you're doing what you need to do. How about you need to vet the people who give you the content that they give? Are they qualified? Do they have time in that field? Have Do they have, I don't want to say street cred, do they have, have they been off of, off of online and actually live a life? A lot of people who are talking real good on these social media streets have never, I mean never, done anything in the real world. They have never talked to a real woman. They have never interacted with a real woman. All this stuff is a bunch of fluff. That's why you need to vet whoever is giving you the game. Even if it comes down to me, you need to vet and make sure that I'm saying and living the life that I'm living. Too many times we believe somebody just because they're online, they look good, they might be saying something real good, but they're not living the life. There should be, you should look for someone who is authentic, someone who is transparent, someone who, let me say this, who shares their failures. Because ain't nobody, I don't care who it is, been a hundred all their life. But you need to vet the person or the people, the group, whoever it is that's giving you the game. I've seen it too many times. You find out years later that this person was doing that and that person was doing this. They was all living up, they living up internet persona and they're not living the real life and then i'm saying that you need to need to need to share everything in their life about what they're doing but there should be some kind of thread that you know that this person is authentic they don't need to as they don't need to pretend to be something that they're not online me and john had a long conversation yesterday about that dude if you meet me in person this is how i am I'm really a laid back, chill person. Cool. Have I talked to a lot of women? Yes, I have. Was I successful all the time? No, I wasn't. Did I mess up money? Yes, I have. But what you're looking is a man who came from nothing, failures, homelessness, riding a bus to where I am now. You need to make sure that the people that giving you the things that they're saying, that they are authentic and that they're giving you the real, not this popcorn, I love you game. And not this thing to try to create a, a persona online so they can get likes and get views and go viral. How about you be your real self? Because at the end of the day, in this social media, social media era, you will get exposed. That's why it's better to expose yourself before someone else expose you. That's why I have no problem saying my failures, sharing where I need to grow, where I need to get better at. Because I didn't got, I still don't have it all together. But I have enough of the game that I'm living what I'm talking about. Online and awful line. You need to vet the people who are giving you the game, who are giving you life lessons, financial lessons. Are they really living that? That's who you need to be checking. Because when you become proficient at that, then you will become proficient in vetting people around you. Then you become proficient in vetting the women or the woman that you want to have in your life. Most of you guys don't even know how to, and I'm saying I'm talking to men particularly, but most of you guys don't even know how to came and vet if a dog is a good dog or a bad dog. 
Why? Because you 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 just a you just a uh, goofy. You just a person who want to believe everything that everybody say. You can't believe what everybody tells you. You need to check them. Find out. Find check. Fact fact check. Some of these dudes, some of these women, ain't living this life. And I'm at to look. I'm and I'm saying this because you got to look in the mirror. And I look in the mirror. Am I living what I'm talking about? If I'm not. Dude, I need to check myself. But you need to vet every person that's online, even offline. That doesn't mean that you, you, you don't receive what they're saying, but you need to see if that they're coming from a place of being authentic and true to you. Some of this stuff I see and hear, I don't say nothing, but I got to say something about this. Vet the people who give you the game. Some of it is just so they can get a name. While they live up, while they live in private, a completely different life. Trust me. The truth was told. You would run the other way if you knew it. This is Lawrence D. Adams. And yo, I'm out of here. Keep it spiritual. Keep it player. I'm out.